Hello and welcome back to another session. In today's session, we are going to host a static website in S3 using our own custom domain registered in Route 53. This involves a series of steps. The first step is obviously to register our own custom domain. We can do that by using AWS Route 53 service. Following that, we will create two S3 buckets and configure them to host static website. Then we will upload some HTML files to the bucket in order to see it working. We should also set up some permissions so that everyone can access our website. And finally, we will set up the A records or LAS records in Route 53 to make our custom domain point to the static website. So we have quite a few things to do. Let's get started. Okay, so we are in the AWS console now. First, let's get into this Route 53 section and register our custom domain. So you have two options here. Either you can transfer your existing domain to AWS or register your own domain with AWS directly. So we are going to do that. Select a domain name and then check whether that domain is available. If the domain is unavailable, then you will get a lot of other options listed by AWS itself, and you can choose one among them. And once you select a domain name, you have to pay a per year pricing for it. You have to enter your contact details and verify and purchase the domain. So the domain purchase will take up to three days for your domain to become active and available for use. So I have done it beforehand and I've registered a domain called this listen to learn dot click and it'll come with a hosted zone, hosted zone attached to it. So the hosted zone will have two records, the NS and the SOA records. So with that, our Route 53 registration is complete. Next, we are going to set up the S3 buckets required for it. So we have to create two S3 buckets. The first one is for your root domain and the bucket name should be exactly same as your custom domain name. So in our case, it is listen to learn dot click. Once you created this bucket, we'll go ahead and create the next bucket. This is going to be for our subdomain. So it's similar to the first one, but just that we are going to add www.listen to learn dot click. That is the subdomain name. And both the buckets have to be in the same location and choose the location which is nearer to your uh, customer or clients. So it will be, uh, in, our, in my case, I'm choosing EU West 2. And once you have both the buckets created, let's go ahead and set up the static website configurations. So get into properties and enable static website hosting. And in your root bucket, you have to set up the uh, files. So we are going to select host a static website option and give a index document and error document. Next, we have to enable static website hosting in our subdomain as well. So if we go back and select the subdomain bucket, again under properties, you have to enable static website hosting. But this time you will select redirect request for an object and you will basically redirect all these requests to your root domain bucket itself. So you have to give that host name. So listen to learn dot click and protocol is going to be HTTP because in S3 static website, if you're directly using it, you will not be able to access enable HTTPS, you have to use CloudFront for that. So once we have enabled the static website hosting, let's set up the bucket access. This needs to be done only in the root bucket. First, we are removing uh, block public access. We are enabling public access. So this will just enable the public access, but it's still uh, your bucket is not public. For that, you have to add a bucket policy. Copy the ARN and we are going to use the policy generator to generate a bucket policy. Choose S3 bucket policy and the effect is allow. Principle is 
allow everyone so select star and then action is going to be get object so you're going to allow all the users to be able to do a get object against your objects within the bucket generate the policy and copy the document and go back to your policy page paste it and save the policy so this will make your bucket public okay so we are done with access setting as well and now let's upload upload some HTML files so this these are basic index and error documents select them and upload them so now we are done with s3 side of things so even without the route 53 records you should be able to access your static website with the s3 url so let's just test that yeah here you go so you have your static website up and running now but it is through the s3 url and if you try to access some unavailable page then it will give you the error page so we confirm that it's all working so our static website is working now so the last thing to do is to set up the route 53 records so let's get back into route 53 into the hosted zone select the domain and we have to add two records here so we have a lot of routing options for the demo purposes we are going to just go with a simple routing and we are going to rec define two records the first record is going to be for the root domain so you're going to select you're going to just leave it as listen to run dot click and select a record as the type and choose areas to raw s3 and the region name it will automatically list your static website url and just define that and we are going to repeat the entire process again but just this time we are going to say www.listentolearn.click and ls to s3 website endpoint and the same region eus2 and the s3 endpoint will automatically appear just select that so we have added both the a records now finally we should be able to access our website using listen to learn dot click let's try accessing our website we should be able to access it through listen to learn dot click or through www dot listen to learn dot click as your subdomain will get redirected to root domain hope you found it useful if you have any questions please leave them in the comments below see you soon in the next video thank you